performance tonight for you and a, a, a big, big statement result. Must be delighted with performance. Delight with performance, yeah, and the attitude um, <clears throat> against a top opponent. We had to play well. We had to act well. I thought we did. Um, clean sheet, three goals. Um, we had to suffer as well, which is good to do because um, you have to do that in a game at the top at the top level in any game. So really pleased with the players. They've they've worked really hard this week, and um, it's a good start for us. Jacob Steinberg. It's only your second game in the Champions League. It's a win against a team and club like Milan. What does it mean to you on a personal level? Well, you've got to have got to answer the, the question in two parts, which is. I'm the coach of, a, of Chelsea and um, you've got to make sure that you're professional and prepare the team as well as you can and stay in the game and focus on the game but obviously as a you know as a human being Chelsea versus AC Milan is a fantastic football match and to be involved in it is something I'm uh, grateful for but obviously to, to win the match is, is great um, we uh, we need to recover now and, and, and go again at the weekend and be, get ready for Tuesday Tom Roddy. Um, Rhys James' uh, performance again tonight, brilliant performance again. Just wondered, kind of his the, the England debate with him, and I just wonder whether Trent's perform, Trent Alexander's performances, whether he's kind of pushing um, Rhys to new heights. In your opinion, um, I, I think Rhys is just a, a just a fantastic player, and um, and he's a young player. So he's developing all the time. He'll get better and better as we as we as we go. Um, I've really enjoyed working with him. He's got a lot to uh, lot to offer. He's fantastic. Um, he, he can play in any game in the world. He's just tremendous, tremendous. So it's just my job is to try and help him reach his potential because his potential is the is beyond the sky. Jeremy Langdon. We don't know yet, Jeremy. So yeah, that's the that's the one disappointing thing about the evening. We need to scan tomorrow, and, and fingers crossed. Matt Dunn. Just on that one, fingers crossed. Could it, with the games coming so thick and fast, that could be quite a serious one, couldn't it? Without you know being that long. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to speculate on it now, to be honest. But um, we're concerned, and we need to just wait till tomorrow, get it scanned, and hope for the best. But uh, it is what it is. That's a shame for him after he got his goal after yeah. the uneasy start. Yeah, exactly. He's not having any luck at all, is it? No, no. And um, these things happen. He's a, he's a young guy. He's a strong guy. We'll help him. We'll support him. Um, but like I said, at the moment, not too much to report. But just fingers crossed, and hope we're hoping for the best. Matt Law. Graham, just to go back to Reese. I appreciate you say you can get even better. But I mean, is there a better player in his position in the world at the moment? Well, I, I haven't watched them, uh, that that much to give you that answer, but all I know is, uh, for us, we love him. He's so important for us. Like I said, my job is to try and help him reach his potential, and his potential is he could be a Chelsea legend with anybody. You know, that's the the level that he has, the potential that he has. Uh, but uh, for that to happen, he has to be part of a successful team, and um, that's what we're working towards. Gentlemen, there in the scarf. I try with English, excuse me. I know very well Chelsea because the, the last year for Italian television, more Italian television, I commentated every match of uh, of uh, Chelsea of Tuchel. I think that I make a, com a congratulation because I seem that in 20 days I can see the difference between the the way of playing of Tuchel and yours. M less possession, are you? Your, your play is more box to box, more verti vertical, more vertical. Um, I have seen well or not? <laughs> well, after that fantastic English, I've got to say yes. <laughs> um, no, we've just been working hard. It's as simple as that. We've been working hard. Um, the players have, have responded well. I've been really um, impressed with how open and honest they are and responsible they are. I think they, they knew that the level had dropped a little bit and uh, when you do that at this level you can be punished. So it's a credit to the players that they've um, that they've tried to take on the things we've spoken about and um, like I said it's just a start for us today. Nothing merits for you? 
Uh, well, like I said, I'm part of the team, I guess, but it's the players that go out there, it's the players that do it. Uh, my job is just to remind them that they can that they can play at the level that they show today, and um, that should be the minimum for us now. Okay, last question, gentlemen at the front. Yeah, uh, I just got off from Italian uh, television. So Tuesday, immediately their revenge in San Siro. You can kill AC Milan Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we're looking forward to going to the San Siro, that's for sure, I am. Um, fantastic place to play football. Uh, you saw the uh, the away support here, I thought they were very loud and got behind the team, so I can imagine what it's going to be like at the San Siro. So we have to be strong and we have to be ready for that, it's going to be a huge challenge for us. Okay, we'll leave it there, thank you everybody, good evening. Thank you. Good English. Congratulations, you must be delighted with that tonight. Thank you, yeah, really delighted. It's a really good mood in the change room afterwards. Um, fantastic performance from us. Uh, the energy straight from the start. Um, we endured and we suffered through times in the game. We had to. Uh, they're a decent team and we came through that and we was we was ruthless with ch chances tonight and I think that's been uh, the difference for us tonight. It's, um, we've had many games where we've played really well but just couldn't finish it off and t tonight we we took our chances, um, so really delighted. You mentioned the sharp start. Was that the game plan to be on the front foot from the first minute? Of course, I mean, that's that's got to be the standard um, from now on. Um, we it shouldn't we shouldn't have to say that before each game. It should be normal for us to go out with that intensity, that energy, that sharpness, because um, that's what will make us consistent. And you know, we've had games like this where we've beat really good teams and we can beat anyone. It's just about being con consistent and we can, p can compete for anything. So uh, that's that's the challenge um, for now uh, and we'll work hard for it. Real dynamism in midfield with you and Cover. You look like you really enjoyed it in there today. Yeah, it's, it's hard not to on nights like this um, in the Champions League. And as a player, you want to play in as many as possible. So so you cherish the, the ones that come and you know, like it's just nice to be a part of it and have an opportunity to, to, to play in front of thousands of fans in the, in the Champions League. You don't want to let that moment pass by and, and you're grateful before every game. Um, so, yeah, enjoy it. You mentioned the fans. The atmosphere was pretty special, wasn't it, tonight? Yeah, and the fans drove us right from the start. And I think when, when we're on this, this wavelength, the team and the fans, it can produce nights like this. So... Yeah, thanks to the fans, and, and, and we go again. Finally one on you, 90 minutes in the tank. You look fit, you look sharp. How are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, I feel good. Um, I've had a good start to the season, and haven't started in a few, so tonight was, you know, I wanted to play well. So, yeah, really happy, and really happy with the win. Yeah, that's the most important thing. About that tonight? Well, I thought it was a, uh, a really good team performance. Uh, defended really well. Uh, had a really nice attitude to us. Um, whenever we lost the ball, we would try to get it back as quickly as possible. And then when we couldn't do that, we, we were compact and, and then we attacked well, I thought. We can improve, obviously. But um, to keep a clean sheet, score three goals, um, the only disappointing part of it was, was, Wesley's, was Wesley's injury. Apart from that, it's been a good evening for us. Is it too early to say how bad that is? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we'll probably need to scan tomorrow. Uh, but at the moment, obviously, we're concerned for him. But um, fingers crossed. You wish him well. You mentioned winning the ball back. It seemed that was the key in midfield today with, with Cover, with Ruben, and also Mason as well. Yeah, well, obviously, they, they've got some quality, of course. And, um, you know, they, they challenge us in that area. And I think uh, the boys you mentioned, you know, really helped us, as, as did Raheem, as did Oba. I think it was just a team performance. It was uh, collectively we defended, collectively we had to suffer when we when we had to and we did it and um, it was a good performance, no uh, no ego, it was a nice nice game. A word on Rhys James, if you can sum him up in, in a word, he was he was massive today wasn't he? Yeah he was, he had a, yeah, I mean he's he's up against a fantastic opponent as well so uh, to, to do to do what he did is, is, is really impressive, um, we know the quality he's got uh, and um, when he's at full flow he's, he's an impressive player. Pre-match you mentioned about the atmosphere, how pleased were you with the fans response today? Yeah they were tremendous, I thought there was a Proper Champions League night uh, felt like a top te a top uh, game with two three, two fantastic teams, so they were really really good tonight. I have to say thank you to them for that.
finally, what does this do for confidence going out to Milan for another big one next week? Yeah, we've got a game at the weekend yeah. as well, so yeah. we need to focus for that. Um, so that's the first part of the job, and then, um, then we look forward to Tuesday.